Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following corollary of the triangle inequality. For every two real numbers a and b, the absolute value of the absolute value of a minus the absolute value of b is less than or equal to the absolute value of a minus b. Now, in proving this corollary, we are going to rely on two preliminary results. Here's the first one. For every two real numbers a and b, the absolute value of a is less than or equal to b if and only if the negative of b is less than or equal to a is less than or equal to b. Okay, now here's the second one. For every two real numbers a and b, the absolute value of a minus the absolute value of b is less than or equal to the absolute value of a minus b. Okay, now let's get into proving this corollary. Now, since we're trying to prove a statement about every two real numbers, give me any two real numbers. I'll call them a and b. Our goal from here is to show that this is true. Now to start, let's apply lemma two, right? By lemma two, we have that the absolute value of a minus the absolute value of b is less than or equal to the absolute value of a minus b. And applying lemma two again, we have that the absolute value of b minus the absolute value of a is less than or equal to the absolute value of b minus a. Now, we know that b minus a and a minus b are negatives of each other, so surely the absolute value of b minus a is equal to the absolute value of a minus b. In addition, we know that the absolute value of b minus the absolute value of a is the negative of the absolute value of a minus the absolute value of b. So what we see here is the negative of the absolute value of a minus the absolute value of b is less than or equal to the absolute value of a minus b. Well, if we multiply negative 1 on both sides, we get that the absolute value of a minus the absolute value of b is greater than or equal to the negative of the absolute value of a minus b. And so we see that the negative of the absolute value of a minus b is less than or equal to the absolute value of a minus the absolute value of b, which is less than or equal to the absolute value of a minus b. And now we're going to use this fact to apply lemma one, right? If we take capital A to be absolute value of a minus absolute value of b and capital B to be absolute value of a minus b, Well then, we see that the negative of capital B is less than or equal to capital A, which is less than or equal to capital B. And since this is true, we have that by lemma one that this must then be true. So we have that the absolute value of capital A is less than or equal to capital B. In other words, the absolute value of the absolute value of A minus the absolute value B is less than or equal to the absolute value of A minus B. So we have shown that this is true. And so putting this all together, we see that given any two real numbers a and b, this is true. So we have proven precisely this statement. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.